So I've got a few templates open here in Photoshop, and these are from Graphic and Logo Bundle Volume 3. And what I want to do is I want to combine some of the elements and customize things to make a new graphic really quickly. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Layers panel, which is Window Layers. And you'll see how the type is in separate layers and certain elements of the graphic will be in certain layers. And so what I want to do is I want to take some clouds from this graphic. And in this graphic, the, the clouds aren't separated out from the mountains. There's a couple different ways you could do this. Let's just drag this window out here so it's separate. And we can see our palm tree graphic right here. And we can just drag this whole layer from our mountain graphic here. We can just drag it right into our palm tree graphic here. And that will retain the color overlay that it's got on it. And let's just position it above everything except for the type. I'm going to turn the type off for now. And you'll see here we have the mountains and the little lines and all that. But all I wanted is the clouds. Let me just turn these layers off here for a second, just turning off the visibility. And we can take our lasso tool here. And I'm just going to select all this stuff and hit delete. So now we just have these clouds. And let's turn our palm trees back on, move them around. I think let's just leave them here for now. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to make this more apparently a uh, reflection. And what I want to do here is let's open up our liquify filter. So filter liquify. And this will allow us to push and pull pixels. And you'll see I have a brush here and we can use the left and right bracket keys to change the size of that brush. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push and pull pixels. And this will help the sun look as if it's being reflected and rippled. You can also change the pressure and the density of your brush. And you can also change the opacity. So if I turn it down, you can see kind of exactly how this is affecting things. And I think that's looking pretty good. So let's click OK to apply that. And if I hide that guide, you'll see, you know, it's already starting to look like rippled water. We can do the same thing with the palm trees. And in fact, I can apply that same exact same transformation. So go to filter. And at the top here, if you just click that liquify, it'll do the same thing that I just did. And we can go in there further and warp out these palm trees. So let's go to filter. And instead of this top option, go liquify again. And we can go in here. And again, I'll turn the opacity down just so it's easier to see. And I'm just doing this with my mouse. You don't even need a Apple Pencil or a stylus or anything like that. Click OK. And now it's starting to look like a reflection. Let's get some of our type back in here. Oh, you know the other thing we're going to do is I want these clouds to not be necessarily hidden by the palm tree so much. So let's go in here and I'll just make a little selection part of them. And then we can just kind of drag it around till we find a spot for it. Do the same thing for these. The other thing I want to do is let's control or command click both of these layers and let's duplicate those layers and then go edit, transform, flip vertical. And then we can now drag these down here so it'll look like a reflection. On second thought, I think these clouds are making this design a little bit busy. So I'm actually going to get rid of those. And let's just finish this off with some type. So let's turn this type back on. What I want to do is I want to do kind of a, a reflection of the type. And I also want to use this font from this other template, which is included with graphic and logo bundle volume three. It's called Sansita. So let's go back in here. Let's turn off those bottom type layers. 
and change this text to Sancita. So let's just highlight this, change it to Sancita, and it was extra bold, I believe. And the other thing with the type, let's go Command T, and this will allow us to change our tracking. We can get those letters closer together and then increase our type size. So let's just do like a 90 point type, 150 on your tracking. And let's apply that same thing to the coast lettering down here. So Sancita, extra bold. What do we do? 90 and 150. So I think that's starting to look pretty good. Let's, uh, let's take both of these layers and duplicate them and do a reflection. So edit, transform, flip vertical. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and rasterize these, layer rasterize type. That turns it to just pixel based type. And what we can do here is, you know, I'm just gonna merge these two layers together. And let's, uh, let's do a color overlay, layer, layer style, color overlay. Change that to the background color, which is white. And click OK. And let's go to filter, liquify. And we can go in here and just tweak out that type so it looks rippled. And we can distort it quite a bit because we don't need it to be readable. Click OK. The other thing we could do is um, let's take this sun. Let's just take bottom half here, cut it, and then Command Shift or Control Shift V to paste it into place. And we can do a color overlay on this. And maybe just do a little bit lighter version of that same orange. And then we could do the same thing with these palm trees. Let's so make a marquee selection. Cut it, paste it into place, and then do a color overlay. You could just use that same brown and then lighten it as well. And click OK. And let's hide that guide. And I think that effect looks pretty good. So there are some ideas on how to customize these designs in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching.